Hi, boys and girls. Today, we're going to talk about informational expository text as we spend our last day of our Unit 2 review. You're going to be watching and listening to a story called Snakes, and then you'll complete the work on slide number three. So this is informational expository text. It's giving us lots of facts about snakes. There's a couple of pictures of some snakes, and there's a graph on page 149. Snakes. When you think of a rattle, you probably picture a cute baby toy. However, there is another type of rattle that no one should play with. This kind of rattle that you find on a rattlesnake's tail. Many different kinds of rattlesnakes live in the United States. They live as far north as Maine and Washington State and as far south as Southern Florida. They come in different colors and designs. Most rattlesnakes eat small rodents or lizards. Some types of rattlesnakes can grow to be seven feet long. If you're on a walk in the desert and you hear a rattle, get moving. The rattler might bite you. Luckily, you probably will never meet a rattlesnake. Rattlers try to avoid humans. In fact, these snakes only attack us if they feel cornered. When a rattlesnake thinks it is in danger, it shakes its tail or rattle. The noise is a warning sign for others to go away. Rattlesnakes are only one type of snake. Around the world, there are about 3,000 species of snakes. Unlike rattlesnakes, most are not venomous. However, even non-venomous snakes can be harmful to other animals. Some snakes, such as a boa constrictor, are dangerous in other ways. Boa constrictors wind around their prey and squeeze until their prey stops breathing. Other snakes swallow small animals whole. Ugh. Snakes are good. Snakes have good qualities too. For example, snakes eat many rats and mice. Rats and mice can spread diseases to humans. If there were no snakes, many more people could get sick from diseases spread by these rodents. So next time you see a snake, remember to respect its qualities, both good and bad. <laughs> Yuck, snakes. So now you're going to go to slide three and answer a couple of questions. Bye for now.